So I'm sitting in the hotel lobby. It's about 1.30 in the morning and I'm working night shift, which means nothing has happened because nothing ever happens on night shift. It's night shift. Why would things happen on night shift? It's night shift for... So in comes my favorite guest of all time. He's been staying at the hotel for probably about a week and a half now. So I know him, I'm familiar with him, and I feel comfortable letting him inside. So I let him in. He stumbles in and I immediately smell alcohol and I immediately regret letting him in. So he says, dude, uh, dude, I'm sorry. I, I left my key in my room and all it's locked in there and I don't have a spare and I've got this girl in the car. And she, dude, uh, yeah, you, you should check this girl out. But anyway, yeah, so can you, uh, can you uh, let me in my room? <laughs> to which I reply, yeah, that's fine. I just got to go to your room with you to make sure, you know, everything's good. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I walk down to his room with him. On the way, he says, so uh, I'm going to have sex tonight, Lawrence. And uh, if I... Uh, I get pregnant, you're gonna have a godchild. How do you respond to something like that? I can't say I don't want to be the godchild, but he's drunk. Obviously, I'm not gonna see this man again for the rest of my life. He lives out of state. Why would he dedicate his godchild to me? That's right, because he's drunk. How do you even turn someone down from something like that? What would you even say to somebody who asked you that question? <laughs> no thanks. I really don't want anything to do with your child's life. I don't want to turn down a godchild. Why would I turn down a godchild? It's a heavenly gift from a drunken person. So I did what any mild-mannered hotel clerk would do, and I smiled, and I nodded, and I said, thank you, sir. Now some of you may think that that's the end of the story. I let the gentleman in his room, and he walks in, Ten minutes later, I see him walk by again with his friend, and I'm thinking, good job. But that's not how it ends. Two weeks later, he shows up again, and this time, he's much more sober. So, uh, thanks for letting me in my room a couple weeks ago, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, and if you were wondering, I wasn't wondering. She's sterile. Can you believe that? So, uh... Sorry, dude, no godchild from her. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so he leaves me there, unsure of how to reply once again to the fact that his girlfriend is sterile. It's not fair. It's just not fair. I can't say, oh, well, good. Am I saying good because I don't have the godchild? Maybe I wanted the godchild. I didn't want the godchild. But I could also be saying good that she's sterile. But that's terrible. I don't want anybody to be sterile. I want everybody to have children. Everybody should have children. Everybody should have children. Okay, maybe not everybody needs a child. 